So now I'm going to uh, move on now and kind of gives you some of the highlights of some of the significant changes. Again, this is simply scratching the surface and for a more detailed uh, delineation of the difference between IC11 and DSM-5, you'll have to go to other sources. So uh, one of the differences has to do with uh, placement of the substance-induced mental disorder. So a substance-induced mental disorder is a mental disorder which is caused by a substance. So if somebody takes cocaine and becomes psychotic, the diagnosis would be a cocaine-induced psychotic disorder. So the placement of that condition, uh, or as, as you can see on the slide, alcohol-induced anxiety disorder. This is anxiety that's caused by uh, drinking alcohol or withdrawing from alcohol. In ICD-11, this disorder is included in the alcohol section. Uh, as you can see on the left-hand side, we have the disorders due to the use of alcohol, which includes alcohol-induced psychotic disorder, mood disorder, anxiety disorder, sexual dysfunction, and sleep disorder. In DSM-5, that same category is included in the anxiety disorder section. So if you look on the right-hand side, if you look at the list of the anxiety disorders in DSM-5, that indicates the ordering there. Uh, starting with separation anxiety, specific phobia, social anxiety disorder, panic disorder, agoraphobia, generalized anxiety disorder, and then at the end we have substance medication induced anxiety disorder. So this uh, difference in um, structure uh, reflects the DSM-5 decision to facilitate differential diagnosis. The idea of the placement of this disorder in the DSM-5 was to make it clear that if you're thinking about uh, a, a presentation of anxiety and you're looking through the anxiety disorders right off the bat, it would remind you that one of the disorders of the differential is substance or medication-induced anxiety disorder.